Welcome to Sir Betterment, where we bring you financial, motivating, and betterment knowledge. In this video, we'll talk about dopamine detox. So without further ado, let's get into it. No other emotion can compare to the rush of dopamine. We're drawn to it and we enjoy it. It's something we desire constantly. However, there is a risk when dopamine levels get too high. The brain can develop a tolerance for dopamine-inducing tasks, and it's a downward spiral from which you'll have a hard time breaking free. Your motivation will lower, and your mood will worsen. And then, you'll be even less productive than before. You'll eventually become a chronic procrastinator, and a dopamine detox challenge is one of the few ways to get out. But first, what is dopamine addiction? The correlation between dopamine and productivity might be slim, but it's there. It exists, and it changes your existence in major ways. Our brain tries to balance neurotransmitters to function at its best. However, it will decrease its dopamine receptors in response to excessive stimulation. So more dopamine will be needed to achieve the same amount of pleasure the next time around. And gradually, you will lose your ability to experience lasting happiness. Your output will suffer the most from your dopamine obsession and all the mental health issues. If your body becomes accustomed to enjoyment, you risk losing your drive, concentration, and desire. Since your body has already gotten its prize, you will no longer care about the most important tasks. That's why you'll put things off. There will be no progress made. Furthermore, you will have difficulty achieving your goals. Now that we know what dopamine addiction is, let's find out the benefits of dopamine detox. According to licensed psychologist Stephanie Garner Wright, LMSW. Number one, it reduces overstimulation. Even though it may feel nice while you scroll through social media, putting down your phone will reveal just how tense you really are. The constant input of social scrolling and other compulsive activities can be very overstimulating, Garner Wright says. Adding that taking a break can temporarily help you feel calmer and less overwhelmed. Number 2. It can boost creativity and productivity. If you've been feeling uninspired or unmotivated, some time alone in silence and solitude may be just what the doctor ordered. By clearing out the mental clutter that comes with continuous stimulation, dopamine detox help you tap back into your creativity and intuition, as Gardner Wright puts it. Instead of being distracted by them, it makes room for your own thoughts, ideas, and sensations. Number 3. It helps you check in with yourself. It's very common and completely understandable that some of us look for enjoyable activities to bury negative emotions. If you overstimulate your brain, it can also push away unwanted thoughts but it's okay to let them appear every once in a while. If you switch off all the distractions, all those feelings and experiences will surface, and you'll be able to really look into them. According to Gardner Wright, you can get through the discomfort and maybe even start to come out the other side by journaling, deep breathing, and talking to a friend or therapist. Number 4. It Helps Prevent Burnout in order to reboot your mind and body, it's a good idea to take a vacation from your favorite dopamine spiking activities, such as online purchasing, watching chaotic TV, or browsing social media. Often, when we are in this mentality of going for more, our bodies goes into overdrive and our nervous system can easily become fried, says they. That's why, Doing this detox can even help treat and prevent burnout. Number 5. It can make slower activities fun again. You may not be able to immediately read an entire book after an initial detox because your brain and nervous system are so used to constant high levels of stimulation. Gardner Wright says, 
but you're literally building new neural networks by practicing that slower habit of reading a book, taking a walk, or focusing on one activity at a time. Number six, it helps you strike a better balance. According to Maller, the point of a dopamine detox is not to give up all of your favorite things, but rather to observe the effects of your usual routine. She advises people to take a step back in order to see what modernization may look like for you. Number seven, it gives you back autonomy. Feeling more in charge of your dopamine cravings can be another benefit of maintaining that state of balance. Now, getting ready for bedtime in front of Love Island will feel less like a chore and more like a deliberate decision. The same goes for checking your phone, looking at TikTok, etc. Now that you know how beneficial dopamine detox is to your life, this is how to do a dopamine detox step by step. If you're worried you can't do the dopamine challenge correctly, we've prepared a step-by-step -step plan to do a dopamine detox properly. Step 1. Decide to do a dopamine detox and commit to it. The first step begins with your attitude and mindset. It's crucial that you go into this process with an optimistic and confident mindset. You need to believe in yourself to succeed. Dopamine cleansing is possible, but getting started requires effort and commitment. You must be prepared for challenges and be ready to stick them out. There should be no buts and no ifs. If you're hooked on computer games, consider where you are now. Does this situation suit you? Not interested in doing anything besides playing computer games all day? Consider for a minute why you need to give up playing computer games. The next step is to visualize your ideal existence after you've kicked your obsession. Then, write it down and keep it in mind. When times get difficult, it can be helpful to write down how you want to feel, your objectives, and your dreams for your life. You need to give the detox your all if you want to be successful. There will be no one more game or one more scroll through Instagram. Step 2 delete your games and accounts. Now that you've committed to dopamine detox, it's time to get rid of all the games on your computer. Deleting your most used game accounts could be beneficial. If you have a lot of stuff on your account and you don't want to delete it, one option is to sell it. Deleting your games and accounts is effective because you won't have immediate access to them afterward. Reinstalling the game may be too much of a hassle for some players. However, removing your account will be even more effective because it may take longer to create a new one, increasing the likelihood that you will simply not do so. In case you're unfamiliar with deleting your gaming accounts, there are many guides to doing that on the internet. So don't tell yourself, I don't know how. There are ways to stop making excuses. Step 3. Start the detox. The next step is to begin the detox. Mark the happy day on your calendar and note how your life has changed. Notice how it changes your attitude and mindset. Step 4. Stick to it for 90 days. Now, you have 90 days to stick to your new routine. Why 90 days? Because research shows that's how long it may take for changes in your brain caused by addiction to begin reversing. When withdrawal signs begin, it can be helpful to recall the reasons you decided to undergo detoxification in the first place. New coping mechanisms can be formed, and the ability to deal with real-world difficulties without resorting to virtual ones can be honed during this time. You should also try to substitute your gaming obsession with other enjoyable activities. Find something you're interested in doing. Go outside and explore the world. If you don't like it, there are plenty of other activities that will eventually suit your interests. Step 5. Continue or stop. After 90 days, you should feel much better physically and mentally as your desires and compulsions to play have been reduced. You can either keep going with a detox and learn to live a life free of gameplay, or you can choose a different path. Or, if you have other activities, you can enjoy games in moderation. 
it's up to you to try it if you're curious whether you can play moderately. Still, if you're on the fence, it's best to stay cautious so you don't fall back into old addictive habits. So what do you think? Did the video shed light on how dopamine detox will help you in terms of productivity? Which step in this video is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. Also, click the subscribe button and notification bell for more videos like this. See you at the next one.